Okay, I'd like to bring this meeting to order. This is the um, Tuesday, March 14th, 5 p.m. Uh, meeting of the Fall River Licensing Board. Uh, my name is Tim McCoy, Chairman. I'd like to read the open meeting law publicly. Pursuant to the open meeting law, any person may make audio or video recording of this public meeting or may transmit the meeting through any media. Attendance, attendees are therefore advised that such recordings or transmissions are being made whether perceived or unperceived by those present and are deemed acknowledged and permissible. The City Charter, Section 9-18, ma mandates that all multiple member bodies develop and adopt rules or policies for public comment. We have adopted such a policy, which in short provides for citizens' input on licensing board specific matters at the beginning of the meeting. There is a sign-up sheet that is located in the back of the room. Excuse me. So. Item 1A, we have public citizens input. Seeing that no one is signed in, we'll move on to item number two on the agenda. I think we should recognize that we have special guest Magnolia in the, uh, in the audience. So the one day permit of 2A is for uh, BCC. Uh, looks like we have two requests, 77 Ellsbury Street. We have Mr. Baxter Smith here representing BCC. And the first request is for April 20th, yes. 2023, and it is for the BCC Awards. It is a request for a one-day permit, a beer and wine license. Uh, the chair would entertain a motion. Oh, I apologize. It looks like the hours are 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. for the benefit of the public and my colleague. I will make a motion to approve the one-day permit for BCC on April 20th, 2023. Motion made by Ms. Cadero, seconded by myself. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. And the second one-day permit is for Friday, April 28th, 2023. It is for the Culinary Arts Recognition Dinner. It is a one-day permit for beer and wine. And... Carrie, I apologize. I don't see the hours for the April 28th one. I believe that's the same. I believe it's from also 5 also 5 30 to 8 30 yeah. p.m. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Sorry Smith. About that. No problem. No problem. Chair would entertain a motion. I'll make a motion to approve the one day permit for a BCC on April 28th, 2023. Motion made by Ms. Cadero, seconded by myself. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Good luck Thank on both you, events. Thank you. Bye, Magnolia. Bye, Magnolia. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thank you. Bye, Magnolia. Uh, item number three in the agenda, a one-time extension of hours, Belmont Club, 34 Franklin Street, Priscilla Poria. Is, pr is Ms. Poria here? If the board would be inclined because it's time sensitive, is could you possibly, if you were inclined to vote on it, uh, without her being present. Okay, so I'll read the request. Uh, we have a letter dated 3923 to the licensing board. Please allow me to change my hours of operation for the Belmont Club Inc. from 4 to midnight until 4 to midnight until our 2 a.m. closing on Friday, March 17, 2023. Thank you for consideration. So is this saying they're typically four to midnight? No, I think she wants to be open at noon and close at 2 a.m. Okay, That's from four to noon. Okay, yeah. so our request for a one-time extension of hours, normally on Fridays we have 4 p.m. Uh, to 2 a.m. And, and the Belmont Club is, uh, according to this letter from Ms. Poria, is looking to open at noon on Friday, St. Patrick's Day, and remain open till 2 a.m technically early Saturday morning. So the chair would entertain a motion. I will make a motion to approve the one-time extension of hours for the Belmont Club for March 17th. Motion made by Ms. Cadero, seconded by the chair. And again, it is from noon on Friday till 2 a.m. Saturday morning. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Item number four, alteration of premises for the Fall River Country Club, 4232 North Main Street, Attorney Levinson, representing the club. Counselor. Good evening, Mr. Chairman, uh, members of the board. Good evening. 
for the record, uh, Mike Levinson uh, of Brainsky Levinson LLC, offices in Seekonk, Massachusetts. I'm the legal representative of Fall River Country Club. Um, it's pretty uh, simple, it's pretty straightforward what we're looking to accomplish here. As you can see from the paperwork we've submitted, um, during COVID, um, the country club started using an outdoor sitting area and a patio outdoor lawn area for service, which was uh, allowed by the state. Um, now, you know, now with the pandemic coming to an end, they want us now to get it properly permitted, so that's what we're here for Excuse today. Me, um, the outdoor lawn and patio area, there's a um, picture that was submitted to show the area. It's about 150 feet by 150 feet. It's a rather large area in the back of the property. It includes a fire pit area, a tented um, stamped concrete, you know, for that, like outdoor weddings and, and ceremonies. They'll have entertainment out there. Um, they have a, a grass area. There's a, also a patio area right outside where the dining room is. I don't know if anyone's ever been there before and seen the area. It's actually very nice, and um, we're just looking to have uh, permission to have it now properly licensed to serve alcohol out there. Okay, so um, since we have a, um, a uh, premises already uh, in business and serving alcohol, I don't believe this needs a, we discussed earlier, but I don't believe this needs a second inspection or visit on the part of the board and whatnot. So uh, if my colleague uh, is inclined to, uh, the chair would entertain a motion. I'll make a motion to approve the alteration of premises for the Fall River Country Club. Okay, motion made by Ms. Cadero, seconded by myself. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes, Attorney Levinson. Good luck. Thank you. Good Thank luck you so to much. the club. Just to clarify, this has to go up to the state because right. it's all together. Yeah, Thank you for recognizing that. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, item number five uh, is old business, new business, uh, part of old business. Um, five one is a citation to uh, retiring board member Miss Esposito. Miss Esposito could not make it tonight uh, due to the weather with her family, so we will um, hold that until uh, our next meeting. Uh, item five two, uh, vote to forward open meeting law complaint to the law department filed by Mr. Patrick Higgins two twenty five twenty three. I'm going to read the. Uh, gist of the complaint for River Licensing Board violating open meeting law as filed. There was a posted meeting on 223-23 to deliberate and consider the transfer of beer and wine license, pledge of inventory, pledge of collateral for son and son convenience, 1147 North Main Street. The attorney who appeared, appeared, uh, appeared before the board referred to the name of the business as Sunshine Convenience. They also deliberated and granted a pledge of the license to Rockland Trust for all First off, the agenda item is fatally defective that the name of the business was incorrect and does not exist. Uh, also, the Pledge of License to Rockland Trust was not listed on the agenda. So, um, if I could please get a motion to forward the complaint to the Law Department Corporation Council, please. I'll make a motion to forward to the Law Department. Motion made by Ms. Cadero, seconded by myself. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Okay, so item number five three, uh, and it reads: We're looking for a revote for clarification of um, uh, Radha Krishna Corporation DBA Sun and Shine Convenience, fourteen forty seven North Main Street, and uh, we will have three different motions: transfer of license, pledge of collateral, pledge of inventory. I'll make a motion to approve the transfer of license for Roddy Krishna Corporation. Motion made by Ms. Kadiro, uh, seconded by myself. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. I'll make a motion to approve the Pledge of Collateral to Rockland Trust. Um, motion made by Ms. Kadiro, seconded by myself. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. And I'll make a motion to approve the Pledge of Inventory to Roddy Krishna Corporation. Uh, motion made by Ms. Cadero, seconded by myself. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. And if I could request on item number 5-4, under new business, uh, we I need a motion to approve and sign the January 3rd, 2023 minutes. I'll make a motion to approve the January 3rd, 2023 minutes. 
Motion made by Ms. Cadero, seconded by myself. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. And item 55, approve and sign January 24th, 2023 minutes. I'll make a motion to approve the January 24th, 2023 minutes. Motion made by Ms. Cadero, seconded by myself. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'm going to ask that Fred TV, uh, uh, FRG TV, please stay with us so we could sign uh, on camera during the meeting. Both sets of minutes. And noting that both sets of minutes have been signed, the chair would entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Motion made by Ms. Cadero, seconded by myself. All in favor? Aye. Motion is adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.